Performance is what drives a company. Measuring that performance is necessary to allocate resources, training, and time to accomplish an organizational goal. Now, the metrics and processes for the performance of individuals in their duties and responsibilities, that's the purview of the human resources department. HR professionals and managers need to know the proper way to construct and conduct performance appraisals and understand that some of the potential risks that could result if a performance appraisal is improperly founded. In this course, you'll learn about the purpose of performance appraisals. We'll discuss and review some restrictions or prohibited activities when it comes to performance appraisals, including those actions that result in discrimination, whether intentional or unintentional. Additionally, you will learn about the importance of documentation in any performance appraisal to avoid legal jeopardy for the organization. Finally, you will understand that legal considerations are not just for the present circumstances, but to protect the company into the future. Hello, I'm James Galuzzo. I have spent more than two and a half decades working in the military and public and private sectors as an HR professional. And I have some insights into workplace culture that I'd like to share with you. In this course, you will learn about some legal considerations for performance appraisals and measures that may be useful in your organization. Now, it's important to state clearly that this course is not intended to be legal advice. And you are always encouraged, if you have legal questions, to consult an attorney that is familiar with local, state, and federal employment laws that apply to your organization. This course is designed to review some common issues that are often linked to missteps in handling performance appraisals and offer a perspective from an HR professional on why these situations can be fraught with risk for a company. I feel strongly that performance appraisals are an effective management tool when implemented properly to align employees' actions and work ethos with the company's mission and values. An unfortunate reality in today's work environment is that managers and even HR professionals are not well skilled in administering an effective performance system. However, the lessons in this course will help you increase your ability to handle these situations. I invite you now to begin this course and apply what you know about your organization so that you and your coworkers are capable and productive while on the job. Let's begin.